Ooh, that's like being on the sun. Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here. And as always, <laughs> I want to thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe B Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally, and I mean literally, does not work. I hope you guys are having a great Friday afternoon. I am... Um, Still working. I've been doing some work in the shop and running around and doing some other things. And I am, I ordered some more lighting for the outdoor studio because, well, you got to see out there in the dark. And so that came in today. So thank you, UPS, Amazon, whomever it was that brought this stuff. And I also have to thank them because. I got some other stuff that came. Um, I'm learning. There's so much that goes into production-wise when you start trying to do a studio and things like that, that literally, it takes a lot. Um, and I have to say thank you to everybody who's donated and helped out um, getting us there. Because without your guys' help, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. And we're going to be continuing to keep working on that. Um, also, I was saying that uh, from Carlos Diaz. Woo! Okay. Carlos sent me something here. And I know what this is. Oh, Carlos. Woo! Let me change cameras. Hold it. Okay. Carlos I can't believe that he sent this, but I appreciate this so much. Okay, here we go. Oh, man. Look at this. Bam. This is a certified, authentic Emmett Smith NFL all-time leading rusher, October 27th, 2002, 1,670, uh, 1,607, 1,000, or 16,000, 727 yards. The lights are still burning in my eyes. Thank you so much. I'm going to take care of you. I know exactly where this is going to go, as well as Philip Vance sent me this piece of the Dallas Cowboys turf from 1971 to 1980. So the guys that played and spit and bled and everything else on this, that's, that's amazing. Two Super Bowl winning teams played on this turf. Thank you. It's going to go, I've got a, a case that I built that's over in the corner. It's not lit up right now, but it's going to definitely go in there. Where that's where all my Primo um, stuff goes, and I appreciate that. I'll, I'll do a video and show you guys all the stuff that's in there. Um, I appreciate that so much. You know, it's funny because this right here is a piece of the sign of one of the signs that hung out that said Cowboys um, Stadium, and uh, just before they imploded it, me and my wife were there in Dallas, and, you know, I took a few pieces. I got a piece that's over there in the cabinet with some pictures from when I got it and things. And, you know, that's a big part of the Dallas Cowboys history. And speaking of Dallas Cowboys history, we have some guys that are now history as far as the Dallas Cowboys go because they have been let go, released, um, and are going bye-bye. And that is the Cowboys cut Marcus Henry, Chris Lacey, um, John Van Johnson. You don't have to call me Ray. You don't have to call me Jay. You can just call me John Van Johnson because I'm going out of here. Cole Hinuki and the Cowboys re-signed C.J. Godwin and Malik Turner. So those are the moves that the Dallas Cowboys have made as of today. And if you are like most Dallas Cowboy fans, like I am, most of us thus far have been a little bit disappointed in what the Dallas Cowboys have done thus far. I mean, let, let's, let's be clear. We don't know. We, we may end up having somebody out there who ends up being the next David Irving. You know, a guy who originally we didn't think was going to be much, but David Irving actually turned out to actually play some valuable time for the Dallas Cowboys. Um, and had he been able to keep his focus, probably would have been a really good player for us. 
Um, unfortunately, he didn't get along too well with Jason Garrett, and that kind of hurt things. Okay, all right, so that, that works, okay. Um, now I just got to figure out how to use the remote and stuff for it. Um, we can hope that some of these guys we bring in here will end up coming around and becoming really good players for us. But the Cowboys fans, you know, we're looking for something to wow us. And as I sit here and think about our defense, and probably most of you guys will agree with me that right now, I don't honestly say we're a better defense than we were last year. Now, maybe we'll be better from the simple fact that we have a different coach and that we're using basically the same type of defense we had before, that guys will feel a little bit more comfortable. From that standpoint, maybe we're better. From a personnel standpoint, um, I'll say we're basically about even. In fact, I, I might even say that with losing Joe Thomas, with losing Joe Thomas, that we might actually end up being in worse shape. Um, our linebacker situation is not real good. Yeah, we've got a good rotation of guys, some guys that can get after the quarterback some. But our defensive backfield, we've done nothing to upgrade it. We've done nothing to help with the safeties. So I don't think that we've improved any as far as where we are right now. I don't think the Cowboys are finished now. We do, of course, have the draft. And the draft, of course, is a crapshoot. You know, you don't know if... Any of the guys are going to pan out. You could go back to the 2017 draft for us, and we looked at that and said, yeah, we're going to draft defense. And in that, we drafted um, Taco Charlton. We got Jordan Lewis. We ended up getting Xavier Woods. We got a woozy. And you looked at that, that, that year, and you said, okay, all of a sudden, yeah, we should be better on defense. You know, we focused in on the draft on getting defensive players. We got three cornerbacks. And as we sit right now, Jordan Lewis is the only one that's still here. So there's no guarantees that you find anything in the draft. Um, and it's funny because a lot of times you think you do really, really well in the draft. You think you got things figured out. And it turns out guys just don't, you know, dogs just don't hunt. And other times you think you've done poorly and guys jump out at you and all of a sudden you say, man, that guy's a playmaker. Where do you come from? So still a little early to try and figure out who's who and what's what. But as we sit here at this moment, I don't see much improvement on our defense from where we were. I'm hoping that I'm wrong. And I'm hoping that we'll be doing some other things. And I'm hoping you'll be here tonight at 9 o'clock Eastern for our live stream because we're going to get lively. You know that. All right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and finish playing with these lights and see if I can get them figured out and see if I can keep from blinding myself. Carlos and, and Philip, thank you guys so much for the great uh, pieces to go to the collection as we try and build Cowboy Smithsonian. I'm Mark Holmes, and I'll see you later. It is if I don't electrocute myself. What the hell kind of shit is... Oh. Well, like what kind of craziness is this. I'll see you guys later.